ever think to yourself, man, I need to make some extra money and I really need to get myself a side hustle, but you don't really know what you want to do? Well, today I'm going to be talking about five ways to find the perfect side hustle for you. Let's talk about it. Hey mamas, it's your fave Nikisha here to help you make money from home and find success with side hustles. Every week I come and give tips and resources on how to do just that. So if you're new around here, click on that button down below and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of the community. So today I wanted to talk about how to find the perfect side hustle for you. There are so many resources, so many videos, and so many people talking about the power of having a side hustle and how to allow it to make your financial situation better, but not really talking about how to go about the process of finding one that's right for you because let's be honest I might enjoy a certain thing you might be like oh no I'm not about to do that right so it's important to find the side hustle that's going to fit you and the lifestyle that you're living and in order to do that I think that there are five things that you kind of need to consider when you're doing that because let's be honest we all don't live the same type of life we all don't need the same amount of money and we all just kind of think about this money thing in a different way so these five things will help you to kind of go through that process and figure out what it is that you want to do and what that you would be successful with for the long term the first thing what are your financial expectations? What is it that you need to make in order to add to your bottom line monthly? Are you doing this just for fun money? Are you doing this to pay an additional small bill? Are you doing this to really help you get by? Like, are you dead broke and you really just need some extra money in your life? Consider the financial expectations that you have. Are you trying to make $1,000 a month? Are you trying to make $5,000 a month? I think that's really important to think about before you decide what exactly is that you want to do. The second thing you have to consider is how much time can you commit? Now, this one is really important because if you know that you only can commit an hour a week to your side hustle you probably should be thinking um, about some things along the lines of like some app based gigs or something like that but if you know that you're willing to put in the time 10 hours 15 hours 20 hours a week on a side hustle then you can think about some things that are a little bit more um, detail oriented and require a little bit more work but will get you a better return on your time so you have to consider how much time you're willing to commit each month when considering the side hustle that's going to be right for you next i think you have to consider what you currently have that you can leverage for that side hustle. Do you have an amazing camera that you can go out and take pictures on? Do you have a computer that you would be able to do some additional administrative tasks for people? Do you have a bike that you can go and do Uber on? Whatever it is that you have, you have to consider what resources you currently have in order to get out there and get that side hustle done. Because if you don't have a computer and you don't have a camera, you can't be talking about, oh, I want to go and be a blogger, you know? So you just have to think about what you currently have to leverage. If you have a cell phone, maybe it's amazing to jump on an app that you can do something really easy um, on your cell phone and just strictly make your money that way. So I personally think you have to consider your resources that you have before you think about what it is that you want to do. Because when you're going out and you're doing stuff for other people, you need to have the right tools in order to get the job done or you're not going to be able to get the repeat business that you're looking for and not be able to make money. Next, you need to consider what type of skills that you have. Do you have skills that include high ticket service services like graphic design, web design, you know, can you create beautiful pictures for people? Think about the skills that you have. 
me as a writer I knew that you know what this is a skill that I can leverage and write for other sides I can write on my own side this is something that I really can take and utilize and make it work for me and I began freelancing as a writer it was a skill that I knew would get me a large return for a minimal amount of time and actually something I actually enjoy doing so think about your skill do you have a nine to five that you do something that could be transferable to doing a weekend side hustle are you in admin during the week do you do customer service during the week those are skills that you can actually take and work part-time at night on the on the weekends doing some admin tasks for entrepreneurs or working for these large companies at their call centers so think about the skills that you have maybe what your full-time job is during the day think about those skills and use those to consider the side hustle that you want to choose and lastly, I think you have to think about if you really want a side hustle or if you want a side business because there can be a difference. A lot of side hustles are actually side businesses because it requires you to um, manage your own finances and do taxes at the end of the year and all these things that some people just really don't want to deal with. I mean with a lot of these things if you're going to be a 1099 employee you'll have to do the tax part of it anyway but I'm just saying do you want to go really in depth with um, the whole tax side of things you want to be hiring out employees so you want to have to send stuff off to other freelancers you really need to consider if you just want something that you can do on your spare time just lightweight stuff that you really don't have to be bothered with all that or do you really just want to build your own brand your own company and reap the rewards from doing that so think about the differences between a true side hustle and a side business and I think that will get you on the right track to deciding some of the things that you want to do or not. When I started my side hustle I knew that eventually I did want it to turn into my own side business. I started my blog and I decided you know what I'm gonna go all in with this because there's an amazing opportunity here and that's what I did. It started out as a side hustle kind of not really doing it just for the fun of it right and then it eventually grew into um, that side business as I took it more seriously and invested more time um, into it. And a bonus tip. Um, the bonus tip is, I forgot the bonus tip. What was I going to say? And those are my five tips for finding the perfect side hustle for you. You just have to do a little bit of thinking prior to just jumping out there doing something that is not going to work for you and it's just not going to work for your situation. Think through these five topics and you will find the perfect side hustle that you can be successful at and you can do long term. If you liked this video, do me a favor. Click on that share button and share this out on Facebook, share this out on Twitter, or share this with a friend or family member that you think could find this useful. I appreciate you all for being here with me, and I will see you in the next video.